I am Father Richard Aziati, the parish priest of Immaculate Conception Catholic Church, looking after the church in Tredega, Ebovale, and Romney. Today, we'll be reflecting on prayer as reliance on the power of the Holy Spirit in our lives. The first thing to look at is prayer. Our Lord Jesus Christ prayed and taught his disciples and us to pray in these beautiful words, Our Father who art in heaven. Prayer is key in the life of every Christian. It is lifting up our hearts and minds to God, having a special conversation with God. That is prayer. Jesus knew that the Christian life would be very challenging without the help of the Holy Spirit. So in John chapter 14, verse 26, he promised us the gift of the Holy Spirit. I will ask my Father, and we will send you the Advocate, the Comforter, the Counselor, the Paraclete. So without the Holy Spirit, the Christian life will be very difficult. That's why we rely on the power of the Holy Spirit in our lives as Christians. When we rely on the Holy Spirit, we have a special assistance. When things get very tough for us in life, the Holy Spirit grants us the wisdom to deal with the situation, the understanding of what might be going on. The Spirit gives us fortitude, the strength to face any and every challenge that comes our way and be victorious. So when we rely on the Holy Spirit, our life of prayer increases. We get better at it. The Christian life is one that is meant to witness to the world, to show Christ to everyone in what we do and say. So if I take myself as a Christian, what would the Lord Jesus want me to show to the world? These, I believe, are some of the things that the Lord will want me to do, which come from the fruits of the Holy Spirit. I, as a Christian, should be charitable. I should show joy, bear fruits of peace, be patient, be kind, try to be good, generous, gentle, faithful, modest, and chaste, with a lot of self-control. When we rely on prayer, when we rely on the power of the Holy Spirit in our lives as Christians, these fruits will be born in our lives. So today I encourage you, in your communication with God, which is prayer, to rely on the special assistance of the Holy Spirit, so that what you do and say will be pleasing in the sight of the Lord. May the Lord bless and keep you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.